Okay, I'm going to come in. He said like the bar, he's like very much last and calm down. It's gonna be baby steps. Every time he shows any type of aggression, I immediately go back to tension. He relaxes, I relax. Good boy. So that was really good. He's starting to get a little curious. So what I already see so far is that he is definitely the type of dog that can warm up and be cool. Mm -hmm. It's just that he is he doesn't know. That. And you would never, ever, ever, ever be able to get him to be fine with someone by just telling him that it's okay and giving him treats and yeah. socializing. None of that will ever work. So what, the reason that this is working right now is because first we have to correct him. It doesn't matter if he was abused before, if he was hit, whatever form of aggression. He does not understand that he that this is not acceptable unless we go ahead and correct that particular behavior. Then once he gets scared, right now he's scared. He's confused. Then we're going with love and treats and joy yeah. because they're not trying to get him to be out for anything. When you're scared? Hmm? Or when you're scared? Well, basically, what I'm trying to say is that once he's like, he's being aggressive, you know, yeah. he doesn't stop unless we correct him. Now that I corrected him, we can tell that he's really scared of me, but he's not lunging at me. He's trying to avoid me, he's trying to go up to you. Mm -hmm. So that means he's scared and confused because it's something new. I yeah. applied pressure and I controlled the, the aggression. Now, at this stage is when we can give treats or reward uh, or just be his friend. Yeah, in a little bit. But okay. first, I'm going to say, like, let him warm up. I'm still fasting him. Like, shh. Same thing here. You see that? And then the tap. No. No. And you see how I've reversed my call as well because I have him really close to me and he's not trying to bite, he's trying to avoid. Now, when he relaxes, I relax. He still doesn't know how to be around people. That's why he's aggressive. Yeah. But he has also not been able to be socialized. So the fact that he's near me here and he's so scared, I need to now convince him that I'm okay. So that people are not bad. He doesn't he has to learn that not to be aggressive or scared towards people. So the first stage is to stop the aggression. The second one is to make friends with him. It's okay, buddy. Come here. Steady. This is steady, right? Yeah. Yes. It's okay. Good boy. See, like he's trying to avoid. So what I'm gonna do is not let him um, get away. I'm gonna bring him closer to me. Now you see here, he's making contact with me. Mm -hmm. And this is really important. Like, look at this. Really scared of the touch because it's new. Yeah. He basically has been able to avoid and show aggression to avoid people for a long time. Good boy. So I have to be careful here because this is like a fine line. Mm -hmm. He needs to get used to the touch. So here I'll do a little bit of a touch at a time. Move my hand. Now he's starting to get a little more comfortable. Good boy. Every time I touch him a little bit and move my hand, it, I created a good experience between a human inter interaction with him that he doesn't know can exist. He yeah. just thinks he's in a way all bad. 
So this side into warm up. Again, this you have to be really careful, especially with the dog that has been doing this for the dog aggression for so long, because this is new and that's when he can snap. But he's really like not giving signs that he wants to. Uh, it just can change very fast when I walk with a dog down. Good boy. Now we cannot let him get away because it teaches him that he can't avoid people. We don't want him to avoid because eventually when he cannot anymore, he goes through back to being aggressive. We need to show him that if I pet him, I'm peaceful. Okay. He's warming up really good now. So I can see that the petting is a lot, I, I can pet him with a lot more confidence that he's not trying to bite. In the head, like this is this is like it, it's observing the body language, so I have to know when, and also to be really quick in case it changes. But like he is being very sweet with me right now, like very like non threatening Good boy. That's a good boy. Come here. So I'm gonna continue. Come here. Yeah, that, that's also a good sign. He's shaking off because you know it, it's almost like they go to the the what do you call it? The valley of death with, when they, when I do that type of that first training because eight nine I like keep confusing the age nine years old. He, you had him for many years already, right? Yes. How many? Uh, seven. Seven years, and he's been in this place for his whole life. Yeah. So when someone does this, it, it's shocking to him. It's just like something yeah. completely new. It's a really strong habit, and he, that's why he was so intense and so forward at the yeah. leash. And then now he's here realizing, hey, it's not, I'm not that bad. Yeah. As he's well, it's funny because he hasn't always been... That's not a good thing. If, if he has that mentality that when people come in, he should either, either bite them or hide from them. Yeah. Neither one is good because all, both are going to lead to aggression in the long run. So how does this translate to ah! me doing this with strangers? Because you're so, a stranger doing this right now. I'm, I'm the stranger doing it just because I have to show you how to do it. Okay, right? then I do So that. I'm going to show it uh, with my dog that is outside. So that's another that practice. But I'm going to do, I'm going to let you practice right away first. But the key is always the same. You have to be firm enough. A lot of times, mm -hmm. like even when seeing this dog, you know, the uh, Ryan, yeah. it's the same thing. Uh, he, he's perfect with me already. So I was telling her, like, the pressure, the correction should be a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And you have to always remember that you're not correcting him for the rest of his life. Right. It's better for you to be firmer now because then, shh, more is left. See how one bar pressure the yeah. this tag. And you have to be like, basically when you correct him, and if you want to go the end of the leash, I'll show you. Hold firm, I'm gonna do a tag so you can feel the pressure, okay? So hold it right there, just one hand. And the leg goes right here. Hold it right here. Okay? Yep. So, it's like this. It's a pretty... So do that though. Yeah, but, it has, it, it, but if, if he doesn't respond, yeah. and you look at him, no. And also the touch. It's That's literally like that. You see how it's like quick? And That's how he feels when I do that. On, I can see yeah. that on your, on your leg. See how he's, when he goes closer to you, he can also be really protective of you, so we're gonna yeah. see. We're gonna do a couple of tests with you holding, hold on to him, and then I'm going to approach. So just hold on firm to the leash. Good boy. Okay, that's enough. No, it's not good. Don't have to correct him. Uh, unless he growls or like show aggression, but he was actually acting curious, that was good. Teddy, come here. That's a good boy. And then let me see his leash. Teddy, come. Come. See how he's he's like thinking about it. Yeah. It's just something that's so new to him, so he, he, he's he's really he's unsure. Yeah. Come. Okay, so see the same thing, I go ahead and put him right there. Now watch this. It's something that for him it's really petrifying. So when he's trying to get away, if I put him right there so he's making contact and when he relaxes, I'm going to relax but until he stays there. Good. Until he stays. Because what this is going to do is that reverse psychology and really desensitize the dog. That's what I like to do. So, so when I'm training them, since I know no one else is going to do this, I try to really push them as much as possible because I'm trying to desensitize them so that when I'm not here, it's a lot easier. Yeah. You already have gone through the worst that could be, you know? Most mm -hmm. people, don't, they're not going to do this and they don't need to do this. Yeah. As long as they can just come in the house and you can be civil with them. Yeah. So it's again here, you see how like there's contact. And he's like really unsure about what's going to happen. But as he relaxes and I relax, it's going to teach him that it's not as bad as he wants. Good boy. Stay there. Good. See how I release the pressure? And it's still with that avoidance of like trying to get away, mm -hmm. like pulling away. Good. That's a good boy. I have to be really quick to move my hand in case it changes, but I'm paying very close attention to his yeah. body language. And it's a fine line because of course he's still very nervous, but at the same time I'm seeing that he's not mm -hmm. like threatening me or anything. Oh, this is good. 
you know, very close to me. The more contact he makes with me right now, the better. Physical contact, because it's, yeah, right there. Because any, like, just being so close to me and him realizing that I'm not going to hurt him, it's, like, shocking to him, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, the next time is so much easier. See, this is, he's starting to relax more. He's not falling away. I'm not holding him back. Only when he tries to go, but he's holding that down longer and longer. So that's what. So, Teddy, come, come. So what you see now that his, his wood is starting to warm up when I come back, come. Good boy, come, come, come. Good. Now look at this. See that? Now the, re the reason that he's positioned, some he's even confused because he positioned himself here and then he gets scared. But he's trying. Now the reason that he's trying is because these dogs, they're, they're scared. They really want someone that they can trust to give them guidance. Yeah. So it's not that I mainly corrected him since I have been here. Yeah. And he still has a lot of trust for me. Mm -hmm. Because it's not, they don't see it as just correcting. Once they start, like, a little bit of the petting that I did and, and body language to let him know that I'm his friend was mm -hmm. enough to let him know also that uh, he, I was only correcting for the bad behaviors. Teddy, come, come, come here, come here, come here, come on. Come here. Good boy. Come. Good. That's a good boy. So again, I'm petting him more aggressively too, to really desensitize him to just the human touch from a stranger. That's it. Good boy. Okay, go. Go. Good boy. Come. 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 Come, Come on. And keep him by the door, don't don't bring him all the way in. So he this here, shh, leave it. So being proactive. So before he really lashes out, you can keep him right there. Before he really lashes out, I'm already letting him know, hey, I'm watching you. Yeah. By doing this. Leave it. Good boy, come. Okay, now this is also really good. This is how he walked towards me. Come. Daddy. Try that again. Yes, okay, so this is really good. Good boy. Plots. Blood. That's a good boy, Daddy. That's a good boy. Good job. Let's go. Good boy. Come here. That's a good boy. Daddy, come here. Come here. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. See here, you can tell that he, even though he's a lot better, like he, obviously like he's like he's stable, he's excited. You can tell that he pulls away a lot more, mm -hmm. you know. Even though it's not like, not for any other reason than him just being a little insecure. He, even though he knows I'm good. Good boy. He still doesn't want to take that chance. Basically, he, that's why he's he doesn't want to take that chance because this one is like all good. Oh yeah, he's love. He's mm -hmm. all good boy.